Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm excited to show you this game from the top four of the War of the Ring 2023 World Tournament. I am playing Circle Dakin, and I did not know uh, that I was actually higher seed than Circle Dakin, and so I actually get to pick sides, and I, it, it actually threw me off because I, I didn't expect to, and I ended up rolling randomly. So I am the free people, and they are Shadow. I start with a, they allocated one eye and rolled three more. And then I um, got this very nice roll. So I'm very happy to play King Brandsman. It's a great strategy card. I get to draw two more, one from the card and one from Gandalf's ability. So this is a very nice start for me. So King Brandsman, draw into Aomer, which I'm happy to see. The daylight effect from last battle is fine. And um, they get Isengard to war. I move the Fellowship and I get hit. So um, it's a one reveal and I think about losing Gandalf and I decide to keep Gandalf. I guess my thinking was I will, um, I will hide the Fellowship with this Will of the West. And, um, and then they draw, my opponent draws a strategy card. And then I do a crazy thing, I think pretty crazy, which is I play Aomer instead of hiding. So I guess I'm thinking next round, I'll make Aragorn, uh, Strider the guide, and then I'll hide with a, um, with whatever die and then move once. I don't know. Like, this counts as a Palantir, so I get to draw more strategy cards. But, yeah, this is this is a little crazy. I, I think it's better to hide here and then move with Gandalf. But, I don't know. I, maybe it's okay. All right, Path of the Woes is Half-Orcs and Goblin Men come to Dol Guldur. And then I muster the Elves towards war. So their military is very slow, but the Fellowship is also very slow. I did a single move and got revealed. Um... You know, if I had lost Gandalf, yeah, also, if I had lost Gandalf, I could have um, hidden with the muster die and then moved a second time. I realize that's four dice, and maybe I just wanted to go slower with the Fellowship, but it's a little crazy. All right, um, and now I say Fellowship is good, and then Circle Dak and said, Guide good? Like, seriously, dude? <laughs> Do you not want Strider as guide? Because you know you're revealed, right? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I'll keep it with Gandalf. What am I thinking? I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, I, there were like three bad choices that I just made in a row. And I, I just don't know what was going on in my mind. I mean, I do, I do have an idea. What was happening was it was an incredibly hot day. So hot that uh, my children's school got canceled and they were home and I had just been dealing with all of uh, getting them home from school early and it was really hot. So, uh, you know, I don't want to make excuses, but definitely if things are chaos in your life, you can make bad decisions playing War of the Ring. So, yeah, that's this This makes no sense. Either, have, either keep Gandalf in, like, either hide with the Fellowship last, hide the Fellowship last round, keep Gandalf as guide, fine. Or, I don't know if you really want to cycle strategy cards, okay, but now you better make Strider Guide. And I understand keeping Gandalf in a little bit because, you know, there's no Saruman, so I'm not getting Gandalf turn two anyway. Um, but still. Okay, so Gandalf is Guide, and then I roll one movement, which is, like, not that crazy. Like, you could get one movement. And so instead, I'm going to move the Fellowship not at all because I didn't make Strider Guide. All right. So instead I get the elves to war. Um, they get Shadow to war. They get um, um, Sauron to war. They play the Ring is Mine. Fine. And now they play Hill Trolls in Baradur. Okay. I'm not sure that I would need to do that right away, but okay. And then I play Smeagol Helps Nice Master. Sure, who needs to hide now? Maybe next round I'm going to make Strider Guide and then hide. But but now there's going to be Saruman, and I actually do want to kill off Gandalf next round. Crazy. 
crazy talk. All right. So what am I doing? I have no idea. I, I mean, I just have no idea. I'm cycling a character card right now. Insanity. All right. Um, had perfectly reasonable roles. Like last role was fine. This role would be fine too if I had had Strider as guide. All right. So they get um, Saruman into play. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Look what I just did. Look what I did to myself this game. I mean, this is insanity. I just put the elves to war and I'm giving the witch king, <laughs> I'm giving them the witch king on turn two. They went from having no minions. They didn't get Saruman turn one. And now because I put the elves to war, they get the witch king turn two. Holy cow past Ira. What were you doing? This is like the worst way to play the first two turns of this game. All right, I get an elite in Lorien. Sure. Sure. I mean, what about Woodland Realm? That's probably going to be attacked sooner, dude. <laughs> Why not put a second one in Woodland Realm in case you only roll one muster next round? Also, you want to kill off Gandalf. All right. Breaking the Fellowship. All right, so they... I don't know. They're still... I mean, I think, honestly, that's a gift. Why, like, I've hurt myself so badly already, slowing the Fellowship down so much and letting them completely catch up on military. I would just draw another strategy card here. All right, so they play Breaking. Maybe they'll get a three. I mean, it's fine. All right, they get an eye. All right, whatever. I don't think that, that doesn't matter too much. Okay, Wizard Staff. Great. All right. So I've kept Gandalf in this whole time. I have Gua here. So maybe I can get Strider to Aragorn to become Aragorn. I, I don't know. I don't have enough dice. I gave them nine dice and now I'm rolling four dice on turn three. This was so self-inflicted. Okay. Strider is guide now. Good thinking. They allocate zero eyes. Yeah. That's also good thinking. They roll two. All right. And now what do I get? I can't like, I can hide, move, I mean, I have wizard staff. Maybe I can separate <laughs> separate Strider with Gua here. And dr All right, let's just see what I do. I pass, that seems good. Now they muster more in Dol Guldur. They draw a strategy card. I hide the fellowship with Strider ability. Hey, good thinking, good thinking. All right, they move towards Woodland Realm. All right, um, I will muster in, yeah, I'm going to muster in Woodland Realm. All right, look at this mess. And now they have a giant army in Woodland Realm. I bothered to get the elves to war, and now am I going to muster again with that Will of the West, or am I going to move the Fellowship? I muster again. Great. One movement this round. All right, they attack Woodland Realm. At least I have decent defense in Woodland Realm. All right. I move the fellowship once. That seems like a good plan. They miss, and now they happen to top deck Nazgul strike. No, they didn't top deck Nazgul. Did they? Yeah, they top deck Nazgul strike. So now they're going to play Nazgul strike, move Nazgul around, get in position for Woodland Realm, and then they move Nazgul all around. They're rolling for the hunt. They hit me, and they reveal me again. <laughs> and Strider is guide. So I'm in the same position as last round. I have only four dice. I need to kill off Gandalf. Why did I not kill Gandalf turn one? Or if you're not going to kill Gandalf turn one, why didn't I make Strider guide turn two? Wow. 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 All right. I mean, this is this is totally self-inflicted on my part. Yes, on my part. Yes, they got Nazgul Strike, which was a good... Draw, but they could have had they could have had Isildur's Bane, Orc Patrol, Nazgul Search. Like there are tons of things they could have had here. All right, I get revealed. I take one corruption. Seems like a great idea. Um. And now I have Kindred of Glorfindel, House of Stewards, Wizard Staff. What, like, what do you get rid of? I'm like, 
I want to, and I have Gua here. So I, I'm thinking to myself, I want to maybe get Aragorn Strider down to Minas Tirith. I mean, I, I know I want to. It's turn four. What a mess. All right, so I get rid of House of Stewards, even though there's a giant army here. In me Let's just watch what happens. Okay, I decide to make Gandalf guide this time. Maybe I'll roll. Maybe I'll roll a bunch of character movement. I guess that's what I'm hoping. Here's the thing, Ira, past Ira. If you're hoping to kill off Gandalf right now, why did you keep Wizard Staff instead of a playable card? Like I could have kept either Kindred of Glorfindel or House of Stewards. One I added. Hey, I got a bunch of movement. I didn't get a um, Will of the West, but still. All right, so I hide the Fellowship. Woodland Realm gets attacked. Relentless Assault. They do one. I do one. They stop and draw. I move the Fellowship. They hit me twice and get two reveal. Oh my gosh. Painful for the Fellowship. Um, I decide to lose Gandalf now. They get two. So I'm up to four Corruption revealed in Moria. And on turn four. So slow. And I don't even have Gandalf yet. Okay, and they have nine dice since turn two. Um, Riders of Theoden against Swarm Bats. Okay, fine. Uh, they get one hit. I get none. So this this battle in Woodland Realm is not going that well. They play Great Host. I get one. They get one plus one. So they're taking out. They're taking out Woodland Realm. I hide the Fellowship using Strider's ability. Clever. They draw a character card. I move and they hit me and they reveal me again. And then there's one more corruption. So I'm up to five corruption, a bazillion tiles drawn from the hunt pool. Holy cow. There have been eight tiles drawn from the hunt pool. And I have moved four times. <laughs> eight tiles drawn moved four times. How is that possible? Getting hit every time, that's four. Nazgul Strike, that's five. Breaking the Fellowship, that's six. And then two Moria tiles, that's seven, eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, six, seven. Only seven. Seven tiles um, drawn from the Hunt Pool. Got a lot of the eyes out. All right. They draw Grand. They play Grand. Woodland Realm is dead, dead. Woodland Realm has one regular left, but then they press, and now Woodland Realm is dead. All right, so Woodland Realm is dead. Turn four. They play New Powers Rising. That makes sense. And I they move armies around. So, yeah, maybe I'll roll a Will of the West, I guess. They allocate one eye. They roll one more. I get a single Will of the West. No movement. Would have been really nice to get one movement there. I guess my plan is I want to move the Fellowship once. I want to play Gua here. I want to bring Boromir and Aragorn down to Minas Tirith. I want to heal up in Lorien a bunch. I want to roll a bazillion wells of the West. All right. So I move to defend Minas Tirith, I guess, and Rohan. They have Ringwraiths are abroad. They attack us, Gilead. I don't play scouts because who cares? And Gondor isn't at war yet. And uh, they miss me and I hit. So good job, Faramir. And I move to South Athelion just to cause a little trouble. They muster in Minus Morgul and Dol Golder. And then attack into Pelargir, which is cool. They're going after Dol Amroth. They'll be able to get Dol Amroth under siege with only a single elite mustered into it. They take Pilar gear. I muster into Dol Amroth. I could use a ring here. So I use a ring to muster into Dol Amroth. What a painful turn. And I didn't even have to do that because I had, to, I rolled two musters. So why not pass, pass, pass? Did I really have to move that regular from us Gilead? Like I had scouts in hand. Crazy talk. 
it was not that hard to see the Asgiliath to Dol Amroth. I could have been passing. I could have hid the fellowship with the Palantir. I could have gotten Gandalf. What a mess. What a mess. They attacked Dol Amroth. I had to give them a ring when I had two musters that round. They get Southrons and Eastlings to war. I get Gandalf. Yeah, okay. Gandalf shows up in Grey Havens because I've played a bunch of strategy cards. Maybe I'm going to get... What was I doing? Maybe I'm going to get um, Fearfire Foes or Book of Mazarbal. And I can still get Companions into Fangorn. Okay. All right. I guess that's not totally crazy, but like it's not that high a chance to draw those cards that soon. And Gandalf can buy time. And if I'm going military, because it looks like I'm trying to get, I'm going to have to heal somewhere. If I, okay, whatever. Orc Patrol hits and gets a one. Fine. I did not move the Fellowship at all. I didn't even hide the Fellowship. I wasted a ring and mustered twice in Dilemma. All right. What do I get rid of here? Maybe I'll get rid of Wizard Staff. I could have... Yeah, so the crazy thing is that I'm going to... I know that I'm going to bring Boromir and Strider to Minas Tirith and try and crown them. And then I'm going to... Um, could have had House of Stewards. And instead I kept Wizard Staff until now. All right. Zero eyes. Totally correct on their part. They roll one. I hide the Fellowship. Wow, they have Day Without Dawn. So they could have mustered right now. They could have mustered the Southrons and Easterlings towards war right now. Because watch what's about to happen. They attack Dol Amroth. By the way, they top deck Nazgul Search, just to be clear. So they had they they have drawn some very effective character cards. Alright, they play Pits of Mordor and uh get Two hits against my four hits. Maybe that's enough to hold the Lamroth. They stop, and now I play Gua here right now. So I guess they were expecting an extra movement. I was going to move once, and then they were going to get the South Rounds and Easterlings to war. But I think when Free People is showing Will of the West and you have Day Without Dawn, might as well put pressure on them to use it by mustering the South Rounds and Easterlings to war. So now... I know that this is a safe separation. I don't bother bringing Boromir because I know that I've already gotten rid of House of Stewards and Gondor is already at war, so his ability doesn't matter. So this way I keep the option of playing Horn of Gondor because Boromir is still in the Fellowship, but it's so dumb that I don't have House of Stewards. I mean, especially with... Okay, whatever. Also, look, I could draw. It would be perfect to draw extra cards. I'm going to move once. All right, anyway. Um, they muster the Southrons and Easterlings to war now. And now I get Aragorn. And they move their armies. I move once. And they hit me, which is unlikely. Um, but they don't reveal me. I lose Boromir now. Take one corruption. I'm up to seven corruption. I've been hit every time except one. And I'm now my plan is, okay, like this is pretty bad, but I can at least heal the fellowship a bunch in Lorien. And then I can um, like hopefully stir up trouble, drawing Fear Fire Foes or Book of Mazarbol. Gondor can maybe muster, like there may be some chances still. Um, and then I pass a bunch and then they play Nazgul Search. So... Yeah, they had Nazgul Search to guaranteed reveal the Fellowship. There really were not that many cards that could have done it. A tile drawing card might have done it, um, but relatively unlikely. And they top decked this, so pretty unlucky. And also, in terms of my timing, all of this, like, all of this timing was wrong, too, because I could have just waited longer. I didn't need to move right then. And now if they do have Nazgul Search, they get to reposition and attack into um, Minas Tirith, because otherwise... They they did not have that many cards that could allow them to attack in to Minas Tirith with 
uh, leadership. And now they have leadership, <clears throat> which is very different than this unled army. All right, so they reveal me. And now, because I gave them a ring, a stupid ring last round, they're going to be able to attack into Minas Tirith with their ring. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh my God. Holy cow, how many mistakes have been made this game. All right, so I have a field battle and then I play scouts. So I'm giving up Minas Tirith. I'm just going to like cause trouble as best I can. <clears throat> and now I use my army movement <clears throat> to retake Pilar gear. <clears throat> and now I have at least some hope of making a mess in Pilar gear, but like this army is going to have to do really, really badly. Um, I'm going to have to get lucky and I need Gandalf here to cancel this leadership. Gandalf should be in Pilar in Fangorn and then Fangorn to Pilar gear is one move for Gandalf. And now they don't have any leadership. All right. Shadows on the Misty Mountains. They play Shadow Lengthens to bring Baradur to, um, Baradur to minus Morgul and South Dunland to North Dunland. So they're probably coming after Rivendell. I have a little bit more mustering available. At least I'm at five dice now, turn six. So that was a turn six Aragorn. If the Fellowship had been healing right now, and I didn't have to devote any character dice to moving them or hiding them anymore to get them healing, that might have been good. All right. Allocate one eye, reveal, uh, roll no more. I muster using a will of the West in Pilar gear. They attack Osgiliath. They attack um, Pilar gear. Um, I play charge for two. They play words of power canceling Aragorn. So I only have two leadership. They get three hits against me. I get five hits against them. Above average, above average combat. All right, are they gonna press? Um, they don't. They don't press, which I think is right. And now I start mustering up again. They play day without dawn. I'm honestly fine with that because I would rather it be gone. I lose one now. That's okay with me. All right, I draw a um, strategy card. I now only have regulars left, but I could reinforce Dol Amroth someday, maybe with that. I may also just use it for the combat effect. They muster an umbar. Yeah, they're happy to see all these musters. They're mustering an umbar like crazy, four extra elites in umbar. I get a regular in Pilar gear and a regular in Las Arnach. They move their armies and like, this is a moment right here that if I wanted this army to break free, I could go and attack Asgiliath. Um, I think that what's going to happen is they're going to attack me into Pilar gear, but maybe not. Um, maybe this is one moment where I give up on Pilar gear, I go to Asgiliath, and then this army is free to roam. All right. I hide the fellowship. They move armies around. They've retaken. They've retaken Osgiliath. That seems good. That's an important location to control. And I get rid of an Ent card. Okay. I'm still holding on to Mithrocoat and Sting and Elven Rope, thinking that maybe someday I'll destroy the ring if I get the. Yeah. All right. Um. I muster in Pilar gear and Lost Arnok. They attack. Pilar gear. All right. Maybe I can whittle them down here. Sure, it would be nice if they didn't have leadership. I play Confusion. I get one hit against them. They get two hits back against me. And I get no hits against them. So a total of one from Confusion. That's certainly a bit below average for me and a bit above average for them. And they press and I draw. Uh, they press. They take... Um, Pilar gear, and now I have to attack Minas Tirith so Aragorn doesn't get trapped in. And they go into a siege, and now they attack in Minas Tirith. They play a 
character card. I play shield wall. They get, oh my gosh, they get three hits against me. I get one hit back against them because they played Dread and Despair. So they're certainly rolling pretty well. And I have to retreat with that army. They have now taken Minas Tirith. They have now taken Gondor. It's going to be pretty tough for me. I draw a strategy card. Happy to see the scouts. So this army can now sit in Druid and Forest. But, um, you know, the ring, yes, their military is going a little slowly, but the ring is so ridiculously slowly. And there's no way to heal in Minas Tirith now. There's just, there's really no hope. I mean, honestly, I don't understand how there's any hope. I just made too many very poor decisions early in the game. Um, they muster in South Rune. I move the Fellowship once, and it's the first time, I think, well, no, I guess second time in the whole game, they've, they're safe movement. They have a very nice army in East Rune. I muster the Dwarves one towards war, thinking that... They might attack into Iron Hills, in which case I could then muster an Erebor, but they're just coming to um, they're just coming to the Vale of Karnan, and um, they take Las Arnach. And do I have any Gondorian? I have one Gondorian regular left. I now muster Rohan toward war. Okay. They play give it to us. I now declare the fellowship. Let's see. I discard Thranduil's archers because I figure I can just... Right, they're dead. Doesn't matter. And um, happy to see Brave Stand and Grey Company. That can be useful. And I declare backwards into Lorien. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, it's hopeless either way. I, I mean, maybe I just keep going and hope to get like ludicrously lucky on the remaining, um, like, m go to Mordor. I would have four more moves to Mordor. I would enter at best at minus three corruption. Maybe, maybe that's, I mean, either way, it's ridiculously long odds, but maybe, maybe this is better. Maybe just pressing on is better, I mean. Who knows? Okay, I declared backwards into Lorien healing one. They allocate one eye. Roll one more. Um, I get a bunch of character dice, which I don't really want. I think I want musters. Um, they move towards Dol Amroth. And uh, I play uh, Elven Rope. They attack Dol Amroth, cycling Flocks of Crabane and getting three hits. I get two back. They press... They, they have five hit points and they're still pressing. I guess they have, what are they? I guess they have Ulog High, so they're they're going to be okay either way. Um, and they're going to play Onslaught here. They play Onslaught. They get one hit and I get no hits. So they Onslaught for three and they get a hit. So Dole Amroth is dead. They have seven victory points. There's no way I can hold Dale. Eight victory points. And the Fellowship is at six corruption sitting in Lorien. All right, let's speed through the rest of this painful game. They muster up in uh, North Dunland. I play Mithril Coat and Sting. Sure, why not? What else am I going to do with my character dice? They move armies around. I move to East Emnet to maybe just make some trouble. They um, move to Druid and Forest. I don't know what the... I mean, Maybe this army shouldn't have moved because it was defending Edoras and keeping this army in Minas Tirith. And like, maybe I should have just done nothing with my character dice. I could have maybe moved with Aragorn to um, Helm's Deep and then played Grey Company there. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Shadows gather to uh, defend Dol Guldur. I mean, fine. Um... They allocate no eyes, roll no more. I get some musters now. I muster in Rivendell. Um, they besiege it. I, uh, let's see, I pass. They move Nazgul around. I play Gandalf into Rivendell in the hopes of holding it. 
Nor is he early. Um, he they didn't realize Gandalf was within six of that. So I don't know. Maybe it was good that Gandalf was over there after all. I never drew um, Fear Fire Foes or Book of Mazarbal. Not that it really matters at this point. Um, they play it Willig really High, so this army is going to be big enough to take it out. And they got an extra... Uh, they have the uh, one reroll from their goblin uh, war rider. Um, they attack in Rivendell. Devilry of Orthanc still works. I have Brave Stand for to reduce by one. They get three hits. I get three back. Um, they press. They have Deadly Strife. Didn't even need Corsairs. They get uh, only two hits on the Deadly Strife, but I only get one back. They press. Desperate Battle finishes the job. So Rivendell is dead. Um, I mean, there's nothing. I attacked Old Golder because that seems fun. Um, they think for a while. They attack Edoras. Um, yeah, there's no way I can hold that. There are 10 victory points. And um, that is... I, I guess I attack into Edoras with this Rohan army. Um, but it does not work, and they get annihilated. So um, that was just a horrible game on my part. I mean, I, my opponent played fine. I don't think, I don't, I mean, I think they played reasonably well. Um, yeah, absolutely. They played well, but, um, it wasn't close at all because I played horribly. So just many, many bad choices at the beginning. Um, I think I was, yeah, I mean, I know that I was distracted. My head wasn't in the game and sometimes that happens. I, I feel, I feel bad about this game. This was the certainly the worst game I've played in a really long time. Um, you can see the statistics. Um, they were plus, they were plus on their combat dice for sure. Um, so fine, but like, this is not what won them the game. Like, yes, that was good, but, um, you know, they were also plus six on Palantirs. Um, so yeah, it was just really poor choices at the beginning of the game. I think is, I think is the problem. Um, so that's that. Uh, I lost my first game in the top four and we'll go on to game two. Thanks. Have a good rest of the day.